Hello everybody, welcome to the Epic Flight Academy Private Pilot Ground School. My name is Mike Thompson. Now, remember to be successful in this course, don't just watch these videos. In addition, be sure to study EPIC's online learning and thirdly, review this content with your flight instructor. Today's lesson is airport operations. Now, when we talk about airport operations, well, what are the types of airports? There are four major types of airports. The first airport we're going to see on the sectional chart is a controlled airport. This airport shows up in blue and it has an air traffic control tower. The second type of airport we'll see on this sectional chart shows up in magenta. The magenta airports are uncontrolled. Now, that doesn't mean all the operations are uncontrolled. It means that there is no operating control tower. The third type of airport are military use only airports. Now, military airports usually have a control tower, although not always. The fourth type of airport is the privately owned airport. Those are usually shown as open circles and have an R for restricted airport. That means private. Now, as we study airport operations, there are sources that we will review for airport data. The first one is called the Aeronautical Chart Supplement. The chart supplement used to be called the Airport Facility Directory. Today it's called the Chart Supplement. When you use the Chart Supplement, remember to open it up and use the table of contents. The second major resource for us as pilots are aeronautical charts. As we study our private pilot license, we are going to deal with uh, predominantly two types of charts, the sectional chart and the area chart. Now, thirdly, we might get a little bit into the WAC charts. What's that? The wacky charts? No, those are the world aeronautical charts, the WAC charts. Predominantly, you and your instructor will work with the sectional chart. The third type of airport data information is going to be NOTAMs. These used to be called Notices to Airmen. These are currently referred to as Notice to Air Missions. And then finally, an important source of airport information, and your flight instructor will work with you on this, is the Automated Terminal Information Service, or ATIS. Your flight instructor will show you how to get ATIS information in the air. Now, an important part of airport operations at any of the four types of airports is runway layout. Here's an example of the runway layout at New Smyrna Beach Airport in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. A couple of important things to notice. Notice that at New Smyrna Beach, we have three big pieces of concrete, but that is six runways. Because each piece of concrete you could land in either direction. So three big hunks of concrete times two, there are six possible runways. Now, when you look at this diagram, it, it might appear a little chaotic at first. It's not quite as chaotic as it first appears. These runways are numbered according to the nearest 10 degrees of magnetic heading. So if I'm flying east, say I'm flying 070 degrees magnetic, I'm flying in an easterly direction. When I look at that runway, it's going to say 07, runway 7, 70 degrees magnetic. If I'm flying in the opposite direction, my heading will be 250. So it's the same piece of concrete, but as I fly west, the runway will say 25. Now, notice, these runway numbers only have two numbers. They're rounded off, as we said, to the nearest 10 degrees magnetic. 
but they're rounded off to two numbers. So 70 wouldn't be rounded off to 70. It would be in three numbers, 0, 7, 0, and this would be runway 07. In the other direction, it's 250, but rounded off to two numbers, it's 25. So each runway is numbered according to the nearest 10 degrees magnetic and is rounded off to two numbers. Now, notice in the diagrams and in the pictures, these runways are connected by taxiways. Taxiways refer to the aircraft movement on the ground between runways or between the runway in your home base or the FBO. All right. So here's a review question for this segment of the lesson. How are runways numbered?